Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very, very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, today we will be solving one very interesting question from Diophantine equation. Question is determine the number of ordered pairs of integers c, d for which the product c, d is greater than or equal to 0. So let's get started this problem by writing one strong identity of algebra that is c plus d or you can say a plus b whole cube formula. So c plus d whole cube is c cube plus d cube plus 3c d in bracket c plus d. Done. Now I will give substitution. If I will put c plus d equal to let c plus d equal to 33. See what will happen. Here I will write 33 and here I will write 33. So it will become 33 whole cube equal to c cube plus d cube plus 3 c d times 33. In next step we can write c cube plus d cube writing RHS in the left hand side. So plus 99 c d. See it is matching with the given equation. Now you can see this equation is known after substitution. So there is one way possible we will consider c plus d minus 33 is the factor of the original equation or you can use the algebraic identity again. So I will go with the second method. How it will be framed? Let me write our equation c cube plus d cube and I will take 33 cube to the left. So I can write plus minus 33 cube. It is done. Now minus 3 times c times d times minus 33. Why I am writing like this? Because in my mind there is identity from algebra which is a plus a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc equal to half times a plus b plus c in second bracket a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square and I will use because our question is framed as per left hand side of this identity. So if I will write our equation in this manner then I can write my right hand side using the same formula or identity. So let me write this. So left hand side it is already framed. You can see in place of a it is c written. In place of b it is d written. In place of this c we have minus 33 and rest is as it is c. So I will write my right hand side directly. It would be equal to half a plus b plus c. So in place of a is c. In place of b is d. And in place of c is minus 33. This bracket is done. Now come to the second bracket. a minus b. So c minus d. Whole square. b minus c. c is minus 33. So I will write d minus. So minus of minus becomes plus. d plus 33 whole cube. Whole square. And last bracket I will write. c plus 33 whole square. You can write first this one any. You will get ultimately this one. Now see right hand side is 0. So I will put equal to 0. So product of two brackets equal to 0. So either c plus d minus 33 will be 0. Or this sum of three squares will be 0. So let me write. So I can write first one c plus d minus 33. So that is equal to 33. This is our equation number 1. Equation number 2, I will write c minus d whole square plus c plus 33 whole square plus d plus 33 whole square equal to 0. Now you can conclude sum of 3 squares equal to 0. How it is possible? Individual bracket will be 0. Otherwise, square won't be negative so it won't cancel out so you won't get 
RH is zero. So let me conclude. If first bracket is zero, then C minus D equal to zero. Conclusion is C equal to D. Second bracket, C plus thirty three equal to zero. Conclusion is C equal to minus thirty three. Third bracket equal to zero. Conclusion is D is equal to negative thirty three. And either both C and D must be positive accepted, or both negative values are accepted. Then only the product will be positive. So both values are accepted. You can see C equal to D, C and D both values are same. So I can write my one ordered pair is is coming out from this equation that is minus thirty three comma minus thirty three C comma D. Now I have to solve this one. So how I can conclude? Let me consider here. C plus D equal to thirty three. So equality holds true here, greater than or equal to. So I can write C zero D thirty three this way. Then my sum will be like that. So here I am writing ordered pairs, and see it is C comma D. So C is zero, D is thirty-three. First ordered pair. Okay, this may be C, may be one. Then D must be thirty-two. So one comma thirty-two. Summation should be thirty-three. Two comma thirty-one. Summation is thirty-three. So I will write ordered pair two comma thirty-one. In this series, I will stop where it will be thirty-three comma zero. If I will add thirty three and zero, I will get R H S thirty three. So I can write here thirty three comma zero. How many ordered pair are pairs are there? Total zero one two one two thirty three and zero is extra. So total thirty four ordered pairs. Okay, thirty four ordered pairs are there. Now you can put over there and you can cross examine. If you want to check values and see the last one minus thirty three, which we calculated separately, that would be also solution because of C D. The product it should be greater than or equal to zero. So once I will take the product of these two, I will get positive number. So yes, it is true. So one solution or one ordered pair from here. So overall, how many ordered pairs? Thirty-five ordered pairs are there, and you can see here these ordered pairs are zero thirty-three, one thirty-two, two thirty-one, three thirty, and so on up to thirty-three comma zero, and one extra from the second parenthesis that is minus thirty-three comma minus thirty-three. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.